This week, one of tennis's top stars, Naomi Osaka, dropped out of the French Open to focus on her mental health. Her bold move received support across the sports world, and it's now opening up dialogue about the importance of taking care of your mental health. So joining us to talk more about mental health is Dr. Kristen Francis from the Huntsman Mental Health Institute at the University of Utah. Doctor, thanks for being with us here this morning. We have this situation with tennis star Naomi Osaka dropping out of the French Open because, as she says, the questions she gets when she loses affect her mental health. What does someone like this bringing up mental health concerns do for mental health awareness? It's so brave that she's speaking up about mental health, and it's so important. There's still such a stigma around mental health that until we can really talk about it in the same way we would any other health condition, like diabetes, high blood pressure, that we need to keep raising awareness. And someone with this much influence really is admirable and uh, is really going to pave the way for others. So you think it helps reduce the stigma? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think it helps us be reminded that no one is beyond reach of having uh, mental health uh, illness disorders and just even in general um, issues around mental health. Any idea how many people suffer from mental health problems? I don't have it off uh, the top of my head, but usually it's predicted that one in eight uh, Americans at any one time will be suffering from a major depressive disorder. Anxiety disorders tend to be a bit more common than that. Um, and there are, of course, other disorders like bipolar disorder um, that receive less attention but are still there and very important. I think that's a lot more than many people may realize. I, I think the next question oh. there is, oh yeah, go ahead. No, absolutely. I mean, I think that some studies have suggested that in your lifetime, one in four people will um, suffer from an, a mental health illness. Um, thankfully, these are treatable conditions. These are not uh, life ending necessarily or even something that has to have you suffering indefinitely. So how do you help someone who's going through some of these mental health issues? That's great. So awareness is the first step. So recognizing signs in someone that you love or your children, changes in behavior, changes in appetite, sleep, interfering with their regular daily life. So people who aren't able to fulfill their work responsibilities, those are all important signs, and especially any thoughts of suicide. And so what are some of the resources available if we recognize some of these signs? So you can get a lot of information about our crisis services, which are open 24-7, phone hotlines, um, also uh, just how to be admitted to the hospital or see a psychiatrist uh, through hmhi.utah.edu. And of course, we can connect people on our website, abc4.com slash GMU. Thank you, Kristen, here from the Huntsman Mental Health Institute, talking with us today about bringing up mental health awareness. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.